the harbour fridge. At the time of the big freeze when her bark docks was fastened up, I decided to move my tugs and engines and sub to a small port at the mouth where the river end. some of their normal duties, the Chinese train, a famous cruise liner, ran off an engine named Percy to help him. As Percy was on his way out to find a Chinese train, he met Mavis. She looked rather worried. She was worried that Ten Cents was taking forever to find that fuel with his friend Sunshine. Where was he going to be, I wonder, as I tell the story? I haven't the very slightest idea. Oh, Percy, have you seen Ten Cents? I'm rather low on fuel, and I need some more soon. Well, I hope he's quick if your light isn't on. I won't be able to guide the Chinese train. It's not like Ten Cents to take so long. There's a shortage of fuel trucks and barges, Mavis. They're all frozen up in her butt docks. I don't worry, he'll, uh, don't worry. he'll be here soon. Despite the cold, the engines were all hard at work. Gordon was grumbling as usual. I do so hate this weather. After all, I usually work as taking the express. Not simply shifting trucks about. Well, you had to put. You just had to put up with it, mate. I'm fed up with your moaning. I am not moaning. You are. I am not. I am I? You are. I am not. Are not. Are not. Are not. Are not. Be quiet. Shh. 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 Quiet, you lot. Sister girl's asleep. Sorry, sorry. The diesel trains are also using the small port. Diesel appeared and he found some truck. If the Star Tugs want this truck, they can't have it, right? You keep it, Diesel. Yes, yes, you keep it. Diesel knew the Star Tugs were on the lookout for the barges. Then trucks. Ten cents and sunshine were desperately hunting for one so that they could be filled with Mavis. They knew, that, they knew that unless Mavis's light wasn't working properly, the Chinese train would go to another place. Well, I suppose all the barges and trucks are iced up in no <coughs> park docks. Hey, look. Diesel's got something. Um, excuse me, Diesel. Um, excuse me, Ten Cents. If you're wanting this barge, you can't have it because I'm using it for the uh, for the Chinese train. Haven't you heard the news? It's low on water. Oh, that's water, not fuel. Yes, it is water, not fuel. Because cars, diesels, and other machines don't take water. Hmm, let her find something else. I saw Henry. What is it, Lance? Henry, we need a fuel barge. And Diesel's told us that he's got water, not fuel. Hmm, we'll have to have a think about that. Um. So I um, have to use my thinking guitar. Oh, 
Oh, dear, said Henry. I, uh, broke a string. And was going to be very old. Very old, indeed. What on earth was he going to do now? He looked about, as he always did for another one. He wasn't going to search for longer, but he found some other spare strings. Lucky me. He found some on the ground, and he put them on. And he started to think. Mim, mim, mim. What's on earth are you singing? The Ted says. I'm thinking. Ah, I know. How about your barn? Hey, hey, I know that barn. It's my place. It's like near Captain Cook's uncle's farm. Let's take a look. Come on. Right. Where are they going? Oh, <laughs> they're going to my uncle's place to find his barn. Meanwhile, Ten Cents was searching the farm, carrying high and carrying low, carrying near and of course carrying far, <clears throat> carrying everywhere. Where are they going to end up, I wonder? This would take an hour. Of course it wasn't going to take long. <clears throat> Let's see where they were going. There they are, look! After a while, ten cents and sunshine reached the, had reached the normal's farm. The Norman farm. The very place that they were wanting to be going in. As they were carrying in, they took a look around. Carrying here, and <coughs> carrying there, carrying everywhere, they would find it. At last, Sunshine found his barn. <coughs> 